Not a whole lot has happened over the past week when it comes to the self-publishing news, but the news items that are worthy of sharing are certainly worth you sticking around to find out a little bit more. In fact, Overdrive just shared some record-breaking downloads through their apps. Uh, Kindlepreneur put out a fantastic article deep diving into broad versus niche keywords. Are you choosing the right keywords? And last but not least, 20 Books Vegas wrapped up its last year this past year, but it did not finish completely because they had a contract with a company out there in Vegas. So somebody came in, started it up again. So 20 books is essentially switching over to Author Nation. I'm gonna talk about that in self-publishing news for January the 15th of 2024. Wow, where the heck is this year going to? We're already about halfway into the first month of the year before you know it's gonna be quarter four. I don't wanna to speak too soon. Instead, let's just go on in over to the very first piece of news that Overdrive users borrowed 662 million ebooks, audiobooks, and digital magazines during 2023. That's a 19% increase over 2022. Some fun facts. Actually, I was just talking about Overdrive in the podcast recording for Kobo Writing Life. And uh, here's some really good stats and some reasons that you want to consider going to Overdrive. Ebooks borrowed in 2023 was 370 million. That was 12% increase. Audiobooks borrowed was 235 million. That was a 23% increase. Ebook and audiobook holds and waitlisted at 250 million. That's a 19% increase. Wow, we public library systems achieving more than 1 million digital book checkouts, 152 public library systems in seven countries. That was a 13 percent increase includes one system over 12 million digital book checkouts, one over 11 million and 73 other systems over 2 million checkouts. I have a feeling here in Columbus, Ohio, where I check out my books and such through the Libby app with Overdrive. I probably <laughs> probably goose those numbers. I probably sent them up there because I check out a lot of books through Libby. Really love it. If you want to ever recommend to any of your readers or followers to check out a book through library, mention uh, Libby if you're distributing through Overdrive. Mention Libby because Libby is a free app. It pretty much put it on just about any device out there. And it's actually very intuitive and very easy to use. If you're used to using Kindle, you will definitely get along with the Libby app for sure. All right, let's transition over to this next piece of news. This one actually comes from the fine folks over at the Alliance of Independent Authors. They wanna give you a little bit of a FY, a FYI, if you will. Following recent changes at Ingram Spark, the free revision offer for Ally members has been updated. The offer now provides one free revision per month. This applies to the book cover or interior file. Following on from a suggestion from a member, we have requested that these codes be issued altogether rather than staggered across the year. We will report back on that soon. While Ally will always try to advocate for best deals for members, it's important to remember that all discounts from our partner members are subject to change and form no part of your Ally membership. They are but one benefit of being a member and we never recommend joining Ally for the discounts only. I know quite a few, few of you have actually heard me a number of times saying, hey, get, get the Ally membership, which I highly recommend. The Alliance of Independent Authors, they're fantastic. I might be a little bit biased being on their advisory board, as well as being part of one of their podcasts called Reaching More Readers with Holly Greenland. But um, I am an active member. I do pay my dues. I do get a lot of discounts and deals. And one of those used to be five free revisions per month on Ingram Spark, but now it's dropped down to just the one per month. Um, Will that change? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm sure <laughs> Ally can't promise anything, as they kind of said at this point. So if you were subscribing to Ally for that purpose right there, my apologies. But keep in mind that they have a ton of other discounts and deals that you need to look into, as well as other membership perks. For instance, if you happen to get your account shut down through KDP, they will help you get it reinstated. That's one of the nicest things there. But uh, that was the news from the Ally front of things. Now on over to uh, the Creative Pen podcast. Joanna Penn hosts a podcast and puts and brings in some of the best thinkers inside our industry. The next strategic step on your author journey and author nation with Joe Solari. Now Joe Solari is a former guest here of this channel and podcast. Such a cool guy. 
I had a little bit of insider information early on this past year when I found out that 20 Books Vegas was going to be having its last session this past year, and that he was going to be taking over the reins. I didn't know that he was going to be rebranding the entire thing to Author Nation. Now, there's going to be some definite changes. Some of them are going to be subtle. Some of them are going to be pretty big. Um, but they are still very author-centric, and they're very focused on delivering the best possible experience based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And I believe they actually have that at Bally's, or it's a new name now. Uh, I can't remember what Bally's is called. Nonetheless, you actually get some insights from Joe Solari and his experience in working with his wife for publishing books and marketing those books as well, and also his experience of transitioning of 20 books Vegas over to Author Nation starting this year. So you want more details, I've left a link inside the description down below to go check out that podcast. And you can also check out authornation.live to see if it's the tickets are going to be something worthwhile for you. It's relatively expensive compared to a lot of other conferences, but I've always felt that about 20 books anyways, and it seems like Joe is taking the reins on this one. I did see a very big name coming to this, and it's Kevin Smith, a very famous director and writer, uh, film director, if you will, and uh, he's going to be part of this, and I think that's kind of awesome. I've been chatting with Joe. Potentially, I'll be going to Author Nation. If you want more details about Author Nation, again, go over to authornation.live for details about the tickets. It's about 300 days, so you got plenty of time yet. Hey, there has been some news that has rolled out from the Publisher Rocket team. They just launched a new version of Publisher Rocket for Chromebook. If you happen to have a Chromebook, well, and you have Publisher Rocket, now you can go ahead and install it. If you've been holding off because you wanted to have it for Chromebook, go ahead and check it out over at dalelinks.com slash rocket. That is an affiliate link. Of course, uh, if you make a purchase, I do get a nice little kickback there from the team over at the Kindlepreneur and Publisher Rocket. Speaking of Kindlepreneur, fantastic article came out written by Dave Chesson. That was on January the 12th. All about keywords that actually sell books, broad versus niche keywords. And this is something that I've been shouting from the mountaintops. I've been saying, hey, look, this is what's going to make the biggest difference. But the cool thing that Dave has gone through and he's actually broke it down piece by piece. And he actually even has a lot of stats. This is one of the fun stats. I love reading stats like this. According to Amazon, 66% of all book shoppers start their book buying journey with Amazon search bar with the other 34% coming from clicking links from other websites that point to the product or shopping via favorite book categories. But what's important for us to know is that 89% of all those who use a search bar end in a purchase. But let's clarify. The 89% isn't saying that 89% of all searches in and a purchase. It's that 89% of those who start the search on Amazon end up with the sale at some point during that visit. And what he does is he breaks it down into the customer experience, how people will sometimes go in, type in a very broad keyword. That broad keyword could probably be science fiction. And then they start to drill down deeper, science fiction fantasy or sci-fi fantasy or sci-fi romance and it breaks out to where it really niches down into essentially a long tail keyword sometimes those longer tail keywords are going to bring you in the best audience because you drill deep down into that you want more details about that i highly recommend that you read this piece it probably will take you about 15 minutes to sit down and read but it's well worth it it's something i've talked about numerous times and it only further just cemented the fact that something I've been sharing about a long time now. All right, uh, looking on further forward, if you happen to be publishing through Street Lib, they have some more promotional opportunities this week. We hope you're doing great. We're rolling into the year with some exciting promotional opportunities for your books on Apple Books. We'd love for you to be part of it. Here's what's coming up. U.S. History Sale between February 13th to the 20th. If your book is $4.99 or less, and then the U.S., this is U.S. only, then this is probably a good sale to take advantage of. Spring's most anticipated price uh, up to $16.99. We can be flexible for larger books. Eligibility, titles releasing between March 1st and May 31st, 2024. Requirement available for pre-order, no cover needed. Categories, everything from biographies to young adult. Perks get featured on books main category pages and our spring's most anticipated store feature. And then last promo offer they have is top rated romance for any books that are $3.99 or less. No free books they have. 
Uh, March 12th to the 29th is available for US, Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Romances with 30 plus ratings in an average of four stars or higher are what they prefer. Alrighty, let's go a little bit further forward. There's going to be a live editing session with Tom Bromley with Reedsy Learning on Wednesday, January the 17th at 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Want to get your writing edited by a veteran ghostwriter and editor? In this very special Reedsy Live, our head of learning, Tom Bromley, will edit writing submissions of up to 500 words from viewers, providing tips and practical feedback that any writer can learn from. These webinars are always fantastic. They are so worth the uh, the visit there. Uh, don't ever expect to get upsold on anything. They're so good about that. Reezy has a lot of premium products. and You would think that they would beat you up for sales, but they don't. They're very, very delicate and light-handed about that. They're all about giving you value first. Speaking of giving value, the folks over at Lulu Publishing, they uh, have a webinar coming up on well, the same day, Wednesday, January 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daytime. That is going to be for a webinar called, for a webinar called Create Your Ultimate Authorship Plan for 2024 with Audrey Huey. Begin your 2024 authorship journey with clarity and confidence with this empowering workshop led by planning expert Audrey Huey. With six years of experience in planner creation, author coaching, Audrey brings a wealth of knowledge and practical strategies to help you achieve your writing goals. Another meeting that's going to be coming up here is from the uh, Diaspora Dialogues, the ins and outs of self-publishing with Melissa Addy. Uh, you can get more details about this. This will be on January the 16th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Self-publishing has grown exponentially over the past decade. In this session, Melissa Addy, campaigns manager for the Alliance of Independent Authors, will talk about some practicalities of getting self-published, as well as the latest facts and figures which explore everything from author incomes to the unexpected personality traits of indie authors and the market insights that allow you to make good decisions for your writing. Plus, she'll share the many resources Ally offers for all writers before we have a Q&A where you can ask your burning questions. Put that on your calendar, Tuesday, January 16th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daytime. And a big summit that's going to be coming up here, the 6th Annual Women in Publishing Summit is going to be on March 6th to the 9th. It is a virtual conference. Get your ticket now. Uh, it's pricing at 147 there is a veritable who's who of people within the industry women more importantly this biggest four-day online conference for women and those who identify as women in publishing our community conference helps aspiring and published authors grow their craft and publishing professionals expand their network and skills and together both groups find the people they need big shout out go ahead grab yourself a ticket i don't have an affiliate to this but I do have an affiliate link to this one right here. Want to give a big shout out and a uh, big plug here. A good friend of mine, Ross Brand, he's a former guest here of this podcast, is releasing his fourth volume of 100 live streaming and digital media predictions. Top content creators help you succeed in an era of rapid change. This will definitely be an eye-opener of sorts. I got to submit my piece. Of course, I leaned a little bit more into how artificial intelligence has been a huge part of my business, but I give a little bit more context and share a lot of that stuff with inside the 100 live streaming and digital media predictions. His book officially launches on January the 17th, but if you want to go get a copy now, you can get full, full retail price on over it. Said the link inside the description down below. And hey, if you want to get tons of access we're talking hours of access hundreds of videos and so much content seven different courses you can do that over at the selfpublishinghub.com you can learn more about online business from publishing books to monetizing your brand and the inner workings of online entrepreneurship to affiliate marketing yes we talk a little bit about that over on my video on demand service called the selfpublishinghub.com that's the one the only the selfpublishinghub.com. What'd you think about some of those news items? Was there anything that I po possibly missed over the past week? I definitely would love to hear from you. I'm over inside the Discord community, so you can feel free to ping me inside the general chat or any of the other little channels. That's at dalelinks.com slash Discord. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next week. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Special shout out to my channel members for both the podcast channel and the main channel. Without your support, some projects we do at Self-Publishing with Dale would be much harder to fund. If you want to contribute to the cause, visit dalelinks.com slash memberships for details and get your on-screen shout out at the end of each broadcast. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale and I'll see you soon.